This is exponential and logarithmic equations, section 4.4. Finally, we're going to be taking everything we know about exponentials and logarithms, and we're going to be using them to solve equations. Now, because uh, we will have a lot of logarithms that can't be simplified any further or exponentials that need to be can't simplify any further, we're often going to be asked to get a decimal approximation of our answer, okay? And the other thing we have to be worried about is that we need to make sure that we don't include any values that are not in the domain of an original logarithmic expression. Remember, the argument of a logarithm must be greater than zero. And it is possible as we work through these problems that um, that, that type of issue comes up. So we do need to be aware of that. Now, there are a lot of different things we're going to be using in this section. We are going to have to combine things as much as possible, okay? in order to get things in the right form to solve. We're going, we might need to use a change of base formula. We're going to be using this a whole lot, where if you have a, the base, it bases here, a logarithm of base B undoes an exponential of base B, and likewise right here, an exponential um, version with a log, as long as these bases are the same, they undo each other. So we're gonna be using the fact that as long as the base is the same, we have inverse functions and they can undo things. Okay, so let's start off with this first problem. e to the x is equal to 0 0.83. We need to get this x out of the exponent. To do that, we are going to take a natural log of both sides. Why natural log? Because remember that natural log of x, it means log base e of x. So to undo this base e, in an exponential form, I'm gonna take natural log and I can do that of both sides. So if I do natural log of e to the x is equal to natural log of 0 0.83. This is exactly property number three. We have the same base on our lateral log as we do on the exponential, so this just becomes x. So I have x is equal to natural log of 0 0.83. Three. Okay, so I have this and I'm going to be, this is my exact answer. We are asked to find a decimal approximation. So x is approximately equal to, I go to my calculator and I find natural log of 0, 0 0.83 and that gives me negative 0 0.1. We're supposed to round to two, so that's going to be negative 0 0.19. Okay, now you could take this approximation and plug it in right here. You won't get exactly this because this is an approximation, but you should get something close. So let's see what that looks like. If I do e to the negative 0.19, let's see if I get something close to this. And I do, and it rounds to this. It should be reasonably close, okay? You can also include your exact answer if you want to. So if I did e to the natural log of um, 0 0.83, so what I've done is I've plugged my exact answer in for this x right here. I will see that it is exactly the right answer. Okay, so you can check in two ways. Okay, so let's try this one. I have 4e to the 7x is equal to 10,273. Now I could go ahead and take natural log of both sides, but I really don't want to do that because it's not going to help with this 4. I want to get the e by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by a 4. So I had e to the 7x is equal to, this is going to be an exact decimal, so I, I don't have a problem doing the complete arithmetic and writing this down. If it were um, not going to be an exact decimal, I would keep it in fraction form. You don't want to use an approximation until the very end. So you want to keep everything in your calculator as much as possible. So this is the same thing as 2,568.25. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I want to get rid of this e. I wanna get the seven x out of the exponent right here. 
And I do that by taking natural log of both sides. So if I take natural log of e to the 7x, that's going to equal natural log of 2,568.25. The natural log and the e undo each other. So I have 7x, my whole exponent, is equal to natural log of 2,568.25. Now this is just a number. It doesn't really look like it, but I mean, um, you could, I mean, this is some exact number. And so just think about it. If you ever get stuck asking yourself, well, what would I do now? What should I do now? Just because this looks different. Pretend for a second it's just this number. Ask yourself what you would do. You would divide both sides by seven. You wouldn't have an issue with that. That's exactly what we do here. Divide this by seven, divide this by seven. Okay, so your x value is exactly natural log of 2,568.25 divided by seven. And we want this estimated to two decimal places. So I find natural log of 2,568.25 and then I divide that answer by seven uh, except I didn't do that. And we get 1.12. That's going to be 1.12. And that is that solution. Now this one is kind of similar. Our exponent is more complicated, but it's going to work essentially the same way this one did. We're going to end up taking natural log of both sides, and then we'll just have this exponent, and we'll be able to solve pretty easily for x. But just like up here, the first thing we want to do is to get our e value alone on one side. That way, when we take natural log of both sides, it doesn't add any extra logs in there that we have to deal with. So I am just going to add 7 to both sides, so that I have e to the 4x minus 5 alone. So that equals 11,250. Now this natural log, I mean this exponential is alone with base e. So I'm going to take natural log of both sides. Now you probably will get to where you're skipping this particular step and you will go directly to just the exponent. But Write the steps out until you are sure that you are comfortable with this. Okay, now I want to get this x alone. It is important that you keep all of this together. This is a number. I don't know exactly what it is yet because I haven't put it in my calculator. But what I need to do, since I can't calculate this or I'm not calculating it exactly yet, I can't do anything with this 5 except add it to both sides. So if I add, move this 5 over to here, what I end up with is 4x is equal to natural log of 11,250 plus 5. Okay, this cannot be added to this. That's not one of our properties at all. Okay, so this is just some number. I don't know what it is. I'm adding 5 to it. This is kind of like um, when we were solve using the quadratic formula or we were using the square root property, and we just went ahead and moved everything over, and we, we didn't simplify completely until we had done all the algebra, and that's what we're doing here as well. Now, I want the x alone, so I'm going to divide both sides by a 4. And my exact answer is x is equal to, it may make more sense for you to move the 5 in front if it helps you see what's going on. And then I'm going to divide that by 4. So now it's time to use my calculator. I have a fraction. I have 5 plus natural log of 11,250 divided by 4 which gives me, I'm rounding to two decimal places, so 3.58. And that would be the solution to this equation. Now, all, none of these have had started off with a logarithm in it. 
and I was never having a problem actually calculating the natural log that I needed to. So that means I, I wasn't really worried about um, rejecting values not in the domain of the original logarithmic expression because we don't have an original logarithmic expression in these problems so far.